Hello Pisces, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm doing your October 2019 general love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in Pisces. This is a general reading, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest. These messages are not for everyone, obviously. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing my channel. You can follow me on Instagram. There is more fun. Jo join me there. You can come to me for personal reading if you want to. Details are given on my channel. So let's get started with the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in Pisces. Let's see what's going on in the Pisces. What is coming towards you into October 2019. So energy could be vice versa if you're a cross watcher or if you're a Pisces. I'm doing some different, um, you know, stuff here. I will pick up your energy and I will pick up the other person energy too. That how you are feeling towards this person into October and how this person will react and act towards you into that month okay so you can switch up the energies whatever is resonate with you so let's see what's going on basically what is blessings coming for my Pisces you have the temple path number 12 so 2 plus 1 3 hmm spirituality healing yourself oops broken heart number nine someone's heart is breaking here but I feel it's already broken. <laughs> it's already broken because you're walking away. Two plus seven, nine. Hmm. The bottom of the deck all tied up. I feel this is your personal energy. Let's take it. So Pisces, your heart broken up. You are already um, going through this broken heart experience. Are you already did? Are you are going through this process still? Okay. But you're healing your heart. You teared up, as you can see the tears here. You teared up, you cried, whatever, how much you want to cry, you did, okay, for this person, for this situation. You really did 1,000 person to save this connection, but still it's broke up. But it meant to be, obviously. So after this separation, this breakup, whatever is happening into painful your life, you really wanted to... Um, you really wanted to save this connection. You really wanted harmony and balance in this connection. You tried. You tried, Pisces. Then you have the temple path. You've done your healing. You, you, you just separated your ways, okay? And you separate from this person. You, you, you said this person, okay, fine. If you're not ready, then it's okay. I have to move away. I have to walk away. You close the door from this person, okay? You, you just um, got disappeared from this person's life. You walk away from this person life you feel like okay fine because this is really exhausted for me this is tiring i can't stay in this energy for a long time i have to find my own happiness i have to find myself even this person this this situation this connection ask so many questions that you ask from this person from this connection okay and now you are going toward something that can make you happy and satisfied and peaceful that's it so you you done your work you done your healing are you could be doing this in the month of october 2019 it's here temple path you're finding your your peace now you're finding your way now you're walking away from this person life or you could already walked away from this person life because you've done your work you feel like i'm done i'm done with this I can't bear this. I can't be in this energy anymore. Like crying, disappointed, and hurt, betrayal. You can't bear this anymore. And this person is all tied up, still there, looking at you from the distance. They're waiting for you. It's look like this person can't make a move, but they're still looking at you from the distance. Two plus three, five, definitely. This is like challenge for you, for this person. But you are freeing yourself from this person. You are saying to situation like, I'm done. I can't be in this energy anymore. I have to move on. Yeah, you have the victory card. 2 plus 8, 10, completion. This is you, Pisces, I feel here. You could be doing this work already or you are going to do this work already into next month. This is you. You're finding your own peace and happiness within yourself, around you, around nature, around your work. You want peace. You are saying to this person, like, my message is very clear. I want peace. I want harmony. I want balance. Because I am tired of these things. 
I'm tired of breaking my heart again and again. I'm done with all this. I'm walking away from every negative and toxic people and energies around me because I, I can't accept this anymore. You are victorious, Pisces, and you show this person like you can do anything. You showed the people and you showed this person that you are very strong. You are not sensitive, as people said about it, like Pisces is crying, Pisces is a cry fish, Pisces is selfish, Pisces is uh, sensitive, cry baby. It's not. You showed the world that how much strong you are and how you overcome through these challenges because this connection was a challenge for you. And this person is still there. Look at this, the blue, the night. Okay, now let's see from Chara how you are feeling toward this person and how you are feeling toward you. What their action is in the month of September towards you and for this person. Left side is yours, the right is from that person. But you can switch the energies, okay, whatever it is. Let's see if I say yes. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see from this person's side, and then I will pick up the mutual energy between you and this person in the month of October 2019. Oh, they're ready. <laughs> Already. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Now, let me play these cards here. Mm, as expected. Let's see the mutual energies between you and this person. One more. Oops, 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 oops. I hate this card. Ooh. Still there. You have five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. So Pisces, uh, oh wow, bottom of the deck is of cups. This is new love, this is self-love that you are giving to yourself. For some of you, you are already in a new connection with other people too. Because you're done with this person with the five of pentacles. You've done your work, you're done, you're tired, you're exhausted. You don't want to cry anymore for this person. Because this person left you in the cold. Vice versa, if you're a cross watcher, it could be possible Pisces did that to you, okay? But I'm just picking up the energies here. And the ace of cups. So you took your cup. From this person okay like saying to this person life like I, i'm done with you and i'm moving forward this could be for some of you you're doing your self-healing because this is also self-healing self-love self-care you're giving this love to yourself you're not ready right now to date anyone because you want to heal you want to give your time because you are overcoming through this um challenge um this uh, painful time that you had okay dark night as you can say that but you're having a clarity now with the ace of cups and for those of you it could be possible that this could be a new person is entering in your life are you are dating someone new are you are going towards someone new someone could be new is coming into your life proposing you or they want to ask you out this look like for you you are good you're doing good now let's see Pisces what happened and what's happening for you. You have the tower moment. I feel already it happened for you. Could be dealing with Scorpio. This is for you Pisces, okay? This is your energy. It's happened already for you. Like you already done with this person. You walk away from this person life. You are, you are doing your own work. You already get the clarity in your mind, in your heart, that what you want and what you desire. And this person is not giving you. That's why this person break your heart. This person left you in the cold. They were not equal. This connection was not equal. You feel like this was one-sided. So you're done with this person. Then you have Page of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel this is you. You're really taking care of yourself. You really want to um, be with someone who is uh, romantic, charming. You know, reciprocative love. You really want equal balance in love. And you could be going out and dating other people also. Like you want to see that what type of person um, now you want to date next or you want to be with someone. For some of you, not for everyone. But for some of you, I'm also sensing here Pisces um, unexpectedly love offer coming from you. 
in the month of October, unexpectedly because the tower moment and the page of cups. Unexpectedly, this person or could be a totally new person offering you their emotions, their feelings, and you will be surprised because this is a surprise for you. Surprise, uh, like sudden expression of love, sudden. It's like you, you're not expecting it, it happened. And I cleared this um, tower movement with the page of wands. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have two pages. Um, you could be have a two children, okay? Uh, you could be a single mom or single dad watching this. You have child. You have two children here, okay? There could be children involved between you and this person. Uh, this person has children, that's why. But I'm also seeing with these two pages, this person is younger than you. Uh, you could be younger than this person. If it's not the case, um, this person has youthful energy like. This could be you, Pisces. You are coming into your youthful energy. I feel unexpectedly someone is offering you love, asking you out for a date. Because Page of Wand also a good news. Coming from the distance, coming from the far. You're not expecting it, by the way. You're not expecting it. Because here you are with the Seven of Wands. You made your healthy bounties already. You're not letting into your life other people's. You're minding your own business. And you're saying to other people's, like, mind your own business. Okay? That's how you're saying to other people. That's good. That's how you're making your healthy boundaries. You're not allowing people. You're not dating right now. Because you already know that, how it's painful for you to experience these things that you're overcoming through. But I'm feeling unexpectedly someone is proposing you. Someone is expressing their love, their passion to you. They want to ask you out. It's a date for me. Like they're asking you for a date or some time, that good time, quality time. But this is like good news coming from you. The tower, unexpectedly. Nine of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is you. Happy, fulfilled, making yourself happy, doing your own things, making your healthy boundaries in your life, allowing people who is best for you, who is right for you. That's how. Now you're picky, Pisces. <laughs> Look at this, how you are sitting here. Now you're picky. You're saying to people that I'm done my own healing. I'm done my own work. Now I will pick my own partner. Come to me. I'm also seeing that there's a lot of options for you for some of Pisces. These cups are here. People want to date you. And now you are here sitting like, who is best for me? You are picking now. This is you, Pisces, sitting on your chair, sitting on your crown. Like, I am the queen. I am the king now. Now I have to pick people because I have options. Okay, so the person you're dealing with, let's see what's going on with them. Six of Pentacles, okay. So they're ready to give you that time that they were not giving you. Five to the six. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, another water sign. Could be a fire sign. Could be air sign, but I'm not seeing air here. So this person left you here with the Five of Pentacles, right? Left you in the cold left you alone, not reciprocating the love. By the way, this person was also hurt. This is a five challenging time for you and for this person too. There was some reasons that this person was not coming towards you. I don't know because everyone has their own reasons, right? Everyone has their own priorities. So this person was not choosing you at that time. This person's first priority was not you when you were really choosing that person as a first priority. That's how it hurts, right? Because it's not equal, it's not balanced. Now, when you left Pisces or you're moving on, this person wants to give you that because this is the same person. Because I feel this is the same person, five to the six of pentacles. They want to give you now that love, that attention that they were not giving it. Now, they could be done their shit. They realize their shit that what they did. They're sorry. They could not be sorry, but they really want to make things work now with you that's how i'm seeing here then you have ace of pentacles yeah definitely ace of pentacles six of pentacles they will ask you out they want to spend the time with you because they know that they messed up they effed up by the way yeah they know that because they are not they are now without you are miserable all tied up they're still there stuck they're still there, Pisces, where you left them. So they want, they're stuck on you. They want, again, a new beginning with you, Ace of Pentacles, something solid, something serious, something stable. And they will ask you out. 
definitely. And they will send you a message like with a very sincere and genuine heart. I'm not saying I'm not judging this person because I know this person messed up, this person effed up, what they did, they did wrong, right? But this person has their own priorities and you, you were choosing this person at that time, but this person was not ready to choose you. But now when this person is realizing your worth after you left them or you're not with them, they want to come back with this uh, genuine and sincere uh, expression of love or sincerity and ask you out, like, let's go out. For some of you, you will accept this because you really want to reconcile with that person. For others of you, you're saying, no, I'm done. I'm moving forward now. I want new. I want something fresh. I'm happy because I have choices now. I have to pick up. You could be blocked this person already with the seven of wands. So seven of cups here. There's a lot of sevens and five here. Five is challenging time. Five is change also. Seven is karmic energy, karmic relationships. Okay. But I'm seeing that you're overcoming through these challenges, these karmic energies and relationship. This person is also changing. If you're changing, they are changing too. Seven of Cups, confusion. This person is really confused right now. They don't know what is happening, why you are doing this, why you are behaving, why are you changed and what you want. They're, they don't know. Or they will not understand why you block them or why you're not letting them in because you want this, right? They're saying that you wanted this and now I'm giving you why you are not accepting it. Nine of Wands. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person right now could be indecisive still. They are observing you or judging you. They're taking their time. They were defensive. They could, I feel this is their past energy. They were defensive. For some of you, they could be still defensive in the October, but still I'm seeing that they will make the move they will so mutual energy between you and this person a lot of shit going on here you have three of cups pisces cancer scorpio this person want to reconcile and want to come back to you but there could be third party situation between some of you there could be third people or other things are involved still because five of wands this drama is still going on these people are still involving interfering your connection or these things are still there if, you, if, if this person was not ready at that moment, now they are ready, you are not ready. I don't know, but something is there that is going into circles and circles. Seven of Swords, you are not allowing this person or forgiving this person because they hurt you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Agya. It's here. So Seven of Swords, it's uh, this person betrayed you, lied you, were deceptive. Okay. And with the Five of Wands, it, there was definitely conflict, fights, arguments. Three of Cups, because of third party situation, because of other people's involvement, because of um, alcohol problems, someone was obsessive, someone was addictive, someone was abusive, I don't know. Something happened between you and this person that you are not allowing this person. I'm still seeing that this person is struggling with bad situations. There is a lot going on between you and this person. But you are saying to this person, I'm done, I'm walking away. But I'm seeing this person is coming back. Despite of this, all this, this drama is going on. They want to make a move. They want to make things work and right because they're still there, stuck without you. But I'm seeing for some of Pisces, unexpectedly, this person will make the move and make the offer to you because we know that, right? They, they really want to be with you. They really want to ask. Unexpectedly, they will make a move. You're not expecting it because this is like Tower Moment, Page of Cups, and this is good news for some of you. Obviously, because you have been waiting for this person to unexpectedly are uh, to come towards you. And they are here, right? Sending a love message, proposing you, or asking you out. And even though just a text message, hello, how are you? What are you doing? You, this will make you happy if you have been waiting for this person for reconciliation. For others of you, you are saying no to this person. Seven of Wands, no. You are saying no. You are blocked. I'm happy with myself or I will find someone new with Ace of Cups, right? Because you hurt me a lot. This drama is still going on. At this time, you, you left me because of these people who are not worth it. I don't know. There's something going on between you and this person. But this person is right now defensive or they were defensive, but now they're letting down their guards. They really want to be with you, Pisces. They're realizing. They know that. And they, they, it's a surprise coming in your way. You are not expecting it, but this love offer is coming. Because there's a love here. 
from spiritual, uh, you know, this is from divine, unconditional love. You have for this person, but you're not having it anymore. And this could be person now realizing that they love you. For some of you, this is self-love, self-care, okay? So I really hope it resonated for you. God bless you in your journey. Thank you so much. God bless you.